Ladies and gentlemen, how are we all doing? Cameron Stewart calling in here from the beautiful Auckland city, sitting on the side of the uh, side of the road in their mobile office and uh, just out here in Point Chev. But um, for those of you that don't know me, yeah, as I say, Cameron Stewart's my name, 32 years old, uh, originally from the deep south, uh, a beautiful place called Invercargill, it's the tropics here in New Zealand. And uh, you'll see in my in in, the, in my title in my video there uh, for this video is you know depression and anxiety down and out you know why what is it that you fo what, you know what you focus on is what you get um, and I just want to really just talk I think you know in today's world there is so many people that brand themselves as being depressed being anxious and all this stuff. Um, and look, I've been known to be get into those stages in life uh, uh, over time as well. But I think I want to paint a picture here. Is I went to the doctors. Um, oh, it was for something completely un unrelated to mental illness. Um, it was a I I'd been getting bad headaches, so I went along to the doctor. And anyway, I got yarning to the doctor. And uh, anyway, I got chatting away. And because uh, I'm a very hypo, very loud uh, personality, very energetic, and I went into this <laughs> when I, she was a new doctor. I'd, um, I won't say any names, but anyway, I went into this doctor's um, surgery, and she started asking me a few questions. Blah blah. blah and she goes, I was excited. I had a lot of stuff going on. I was pretty excited about what I was doing, and and she goes to me, Cameron, are you do you have bipolar? And I said, what? And uh, I said, no. No, I don't. I said, I'm, I'm just excited. I'm excited about life. And what that made me think was, how many doctors are there out there in the world today that are diagnosing people with, or branding people? I thought about that if I didn't know how to, if I didn't have a strong mindset and all the rest of it, and that was said to someone that was maybe a little bit mentally unstable maybe that person would get branded as bipolar, they'd brand themselves as bipolar. So for example, if you go to the doctor and that doctor says you've got depression because you say I'm a bit down and out, blah, 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 all of a sudden you're diagnosed with, uh, with depression. So the doctor said to you, you've got depression, well, depression is, is bad thought patterns that go on inside our mind. It's not a, although it is, they say it's a disease. Really, what what is depression? Depression is bad thought patterns that go uh, go on throughout our mind. And the reason why it's, you know the reason why I'm doing this video is I feel very very passionate about this. There's a lot of people out there that are getting branded with depression or bipolar or anxiety and all this stuff. Yes, these thoughts go on in our minds. Yes, we feel like this, but you don't need to be branded as someone that's depressed. It's a thought pattern. It's the way we think. And going out there, and a doctor, in, my, in this scenario, a doctor branded me, said, uh, do you have bipolar? Well, if I was mentally weak, I might have taken that the wrong way and actually then branded myself with bipolar. Just because I'm, I get excited and, I, and I'm excited about life and I'm loud and all the rest of it doesn't mean you have bipolar. So what I'm getting at here is, people, there's a lot of people out there that, yes, we have struggled. There's times in life where we're a bit down and out. But taking a tablet or going through that process isn't really fixing the problem. The fixing it, the, the problem is our thought patterns, the way we think about ourselves, what we focus on. For example, if I focused on, if I had focused on what that doctor said to me that day and focused, and I actually rang up mum and said, I went to the doctor and the doctor said, I, do you have bipolar? I thought, what? bipolar? I said, I rang up mum and I said, the doctor just said to me, you got bipolar. It's like I'm a, I'm a high achiever, I've, I've achieved so much in my life and a doctor's saying that you've got bipolar. Just because someone's hyperactive or someone's down and out doesn't mean that they have a mental illness. So what are, really the motive for this video is so many people out there are getting branded by so-called doctors because of, and they're getting given Xanax or Valium or whatever that crap is that people get given that just doesn't actually fix a problem All it does is masks it. It actually makes it worse The people I know that have actually ended up taking tablets for depression anxiety all the rest of it end up getting more screwed up See the problem is not a tablet is not going to fix a problem What's going to fix a problem is focusing on the things that you really do want in your life and we're not taught this in school 
Focus on the things that you want to achieve. Focus on where you're wanting to head. But most people are focusing on the negative, focusing on the things that are out of their control, and hence they're not getting a result. Now the reason why I started doing these videos online is weird how you end up doing this stuff in life. I made a decision, I just started doing videos online. Why did I do that? Because I wanted to make a difference. Because I don't think there's enough people out there that are actually saying it as it is. And I, we live in a world today that's everyone's flat out, everyone's flat tech, busy, 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 working, working, working. They're doing all this activity but underneath all that most people are miserable. I'm not saying everyone, a lot of people will live very fulfilled and happy lives, but there's a large percentage of the population that's down and out. They're not living their life to their full potential. Why? Because they're focusing on the things that are out of their control. They're focusing on a partner that maybe not, uh, might be annoying them or not doing things the way, the, the way that they want them to do. They might be focusing on, um, oh, I don't know, a job that they're... That, you know, that they're in a job that they don't like and they're discontent and they're, they're not happy but they don't do anything about it so they stay in that same mindset. See, the thing is, depression, anxiety, being down and out is created because of the environment that we're involved in. And if you're around an association of people that's not adding value to your life, remove yourself from that. Because if you don't remove yourself from that, what happens? You just get sucked into that crap. To get success or to change your mindset and to get out of that depressive thinking and to get out of the, the anxious thoughts, the worry, what am I doing? See, what is that anxiety? Anxiety, I've had anxiety for years. Anxiety is part of who I am. Anxious thoughts. Do you know what anxiety is? I, this is how I see it, how I see it in my life. I believe anxiety has actually helped me move forward because it's, it's given me motivation to move forward and go out there and make stuff happen. Anxiety is thinking about things that are out of your control and, and overthinking it, thinking, thinking, you know, lying in bed, thinking about this, thinking about that. It might be financial struggles, it might be uh, relationship struggles, whatever the case may be, and overthinking it, overthinking it, overthinking it. But the reason why we keep thinking this stuff is because we can't, we, we're not, we're not going to fix a problem if we keep focusing on the negative. You know, I, I watch guys like Mike King, um, you know, a New Zealand comedian. He's out there, you know, really talking about depression and what's going on in society, and he's right. You know, we, we're focusing on the wrong things, people. Life is precious. We need to be happy. We need to be, we, we need to be content. We need to be living our life to our full potential, but most of us aren't. But the, the only way that you're going to be able to go out there and live your full potential is if you start focusing on the things that you really do want. Yes, if you're down and out, I understand. I understand what it's like to be down and out. When I was in a hospital bed and I was lying there and I couldn't do anything, I was stuck in Australia and I couldn't do anything, I was taking all these Oxycontin, Oxycontin um, drugs, buddy, Valium, all this crap because my body was sick. I was down and out, I was depressed, I, it was situational depression, I couldn't control that. There were certain things that were out of my control and there'd be people out there that are watching this video that have certain things out of their control. It might be a health issue, it might be a disability, it might be a relationship problem, there'd be certain things that are out of your control. But life is going to keep happening people, so unless you actually get control of what's going on inside your, old mind, your own mind, how are you ever actually going to get out there and get a result? See, my motive behind these videos is not to make money. It's not to get recruit people into anything or do anything like that. I do it because I'm passionate about it, making a difference and helping people realize that they can be better than what they are right now. And most people are not living their life to their full potential. They're moping around every Friday. They're finishing work. They're getting pissed. And oh, look, I've done all that. I still like to have a few beers and, and, and get on it as well. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a Mormon. You know, I still like to go out there and have a few beers and, you know, duck shooting and go for the boys and, and play up a bit, you know, that's what it's about. But if you're doing things, if you have a depressive personality and you're doing things that, like, for example, drinking heavily on the weekends, that is not going to do add any value to your life if you're in that way of thought, uh, if you're in that thought pattern. You need to minimise the things. I know myself, if I go away for a big weekend, geez, it takes me about a week to recover. So you, we need to be doing things, people, that are, that are going to benefit our mental health so that we can go forward and, and get the results that we're looking for. You know, anxiety, depression, being down and out, is it a clinical thing? I don't know, because 
there's been times in my life where I could have been said as oh, I have depression, I have anxiety, I could have been tainted as that, I could have been giving tablets, given tablets to go and uh, take away that pain, but that's not really taking away the problem, the problem comes around is our mindset and the way we think around things. So all I can say is if you're watching this video and you're looking to try and get out of that funk, you need to get around people that are going to help you move forward in life from a mental point of view. Because if you focus on the things that you can't control, you're just going to get results that you can't control. Meaning your mindset's going to go backwards, you're going to keep focusing on the things that you don't want, and you're going to keep getting results that you don't want. If you focus, there is such a thing as the law of attraction, what you put out you get. If you focus on the things that you really do want, you'll get those things, believe it or not. I can tell you from in my life, from every time I've had a positive and uplifted uh, mindset, my results have increased exponentially. When I focus on the things that are out of my control, negative things, you know, um, maybe someone's annoyed me, whatever the case may be, then I've got negative results. So depression, anxiety, the stuff that's going on in the world today is because people are not fulfilled. People are not happy with what they're doing. They're doing jobs that they only do for a paycheck. They're going to work. You know, the thing is, what we've been taught is not working for everyone anymore. We're getting taught to go to school, get a good education, go and get a job, work real hard for 45 years to retire at 65 or 67 or 70 or whatever it's going to be. People are not living fulfilled lives. People are struggling financially week to week, year to year. That's why anxiety is at all time high. That's why depression's at an all time high. Because people are not happy. People are not content. And look, it's absolutely weird that I'm sitting on this in my ute on the side of a road in Auckland talking to uh, potentially thousands of people on Facebook right now. Why do I do this? Because I want to help people. I don't do this for any other reason. I don't do this for financial gain or nothing like that. I, people need to wake up and realize that you cannot control anyone else around you. Do you know what? We all come into this world alone and we all leave this world alone. We're born alone and we leave this world alone. The time that we have on this earth is short. It's not a time to be lying around feeling down and out, being depressed, having anxiety. What are you depressed? What are you anxious about? If you've got your health and you've got time, you've got the world at your feet. But most people are moping around, worrying about things that they can't control. It's time to wake up, people. We need to focus on the things. Look, we've got all these things that we do, you know... Um, you know, you have all this stuff on social media or in the media as far as growing moustaches or this and that and all the rest of it, uh, you know, to, to, to create awareness for depression. But is it really fixing the problem? You know, what? where is the association? What's happening here? What? What's changing? Because it seems to be increasing every year. I tell you why, it's because people have no vision. People have People have forgotten to dream. People have forgotten to actually worry about what it is that they... People have forgotten to actually think big. We live in a world of settle for. You know, going through the motions, going through the motions. That's not a way to live, guys. There's so much more things that you can do with your life, but you're going to have to... It's all going to start with you. Anxiety, depression, all of that stuff. I know what it's like to be down there. I've been in those times in my life when things were out of my control. But the only thing that's changed for me is my mindset. Nothing's changed. I was always a capable human being, but from a young age, I always had self-doubt. I always self-sabotaged. I never believed in myself. Why? Because I was conditioned. And the thing is, most people are conditioned because of the association they, that they're, they're with, the people they kick around with, maybe the job, maybe there's, you know, they're under a lot of press, a, a pressure, a lot of stress. And this is what creates this mindset problem. So we need to we need to wake up, people. We need to wake up, and we need to support the people that are struggling. If one of your friends is having is a bit down and out, be there for them. You know, we need to be there for people. We we, we don't want to leave people on their own. We don't just want to give someone a tablet and say she'll be right. Oh, such and such is uh, is on um, our antidepressants or whatever the uh, tablets or whatever that crap is that they give people. You know, that, that's not fixing the problem. All that's doing is, so, that, that, that's just masking the problem. The, the problem is inside you and your mind. You know, I, I, and I say this because of my own experiences. I'm not a guru, I'm not a doctor. All I, all I say is, all I can, I use the, what I've learned over the last few years, I've learned by doing. I've been had those times when I've been down out, and by applying daily uh, tasks, you know, reading over my goals, 
reading positive mental attitude books, associating with the right people, now my life has dramatically started to change. And you know, as far as money and all that other crap, that doesn't mean anything. Materialism or materialistic objects is, is not success. Success is being happy when the person looks when that looks at you in the mirror, that person that looks back at you, you are completely happy and content with that person. That's what success is. And when you can influence and help other people and leave a legacy, that's what success is. See, just because someone has financial gain and has all the success from a financial point of view doesn't mean they're a success because I know plenty of people that make a lot of money that have all this materialistic crap that are miserable. See, see money doesn't make you happy. Being happy comes from within you. So I hope you're all having an awesome day. I just wanted to talk about this. I'm just sick of seeing, hearing about people committing suicide. I'm hearing about, I'm sick of hearing people being depressed. All this stuff, it all starts in our mind. We've got to learn to control our mind, people. We've got to focus on the things that we do want. We've got to focus on where we're going. We've got to focus on what, we, what it is that we want. And we've got to go out there and get it. It's not going to happen overnight. But if you put in the daily tasks, reading goals, focusing on what it is you want, associating with the right people, you will get a result. If you associate with a bunch of numbwits that are going nowhere in life, you're just going to be like them. Look, this will rub some people up the wrong way, but I don't care. You know, this is not, I'm not here to please everyone. I'm not here to be a hero. That's not what it's about. I'm here to actually speak out because most people don't speak out because why because they're worried about what other people think who cares what other people think because at the end of the day no one else pays your bills no one else thinks like you think only you do so go out there make a decision for yourself live your life to your full potential and have an awesome day i'm cameron stewart we'll talk to you next time